So today I'm back in GTA 5 LSPDFR and I'm actually doing something a little bit different. So as you can see right now, I'm actually in a Highways England traffic officer vehicle and it's a Range Rover Discovery 5 or Land Rover Discovery 5. I don't exactly know, but it's pretty cool. And uh, we're just going to be doing some highway patrol today and obviously doing some highway maintenance. That's kind of what we're for. Now, obviously there isn't any exact call outs for this job. Obviously you're not really meant to do this, but I just think it's pretty cool to kind of mod it and change of the game and use it in this way that isn't really used before so uh, if you do enjoy it please do like and subscribe as it does help out a lot but let's get straight into this so obviously we're just kind of on the motorway right now or highway obviously we're going to call it the motorway and yeah i've tried to make it as british as possible obviously there are a few uh, kind of things here so obviously there are some british vehicles but there are mostly american as you can see there are a few around here but obviously i can't really change all of them my pc isn't that good but i've tried to do the best i can right now so so, so I have actually made up a few call outs. So I'm just going to actually pull over just here. So the one problem I do have here is that I couldn't actually get any uniform. So I know there is like a Highways England vest that you can get for GTA 5 LSPDFR. But I haven't been but I haven't been able to install that. So we are just going to have to go with this one. Um, it's just a normal construction worker. But it's not too bad to be honest. It will do the job. It has got a high-vis jacket. That's about all we need really. Um, it does not say Highways England on the side. But this vehicle right here is really, really nice. So obviously it's like a... It has a really nice livery here so obviously the highways england traffic officer there are a few others um as well obviously we're not going to use them in this video though but they are um there if you want to install them for your own lspdf or something uh but yeah so uh there are a few kind of call outs and things i have to... okay so i was just driving around and i noticed this little um kind of area here where it's kind of been um cut off here there's no kind of railing here to stop any vehicles driving off there's a little kind of uh, barrier here and a few cones but nothing really uh too extra Stream. So we're going to um, just block this off a little bit and do a bit of roleplay, I guess. So uh, I installed Scene Manager. If you don't know what that is, then it's really, really cool. So if I uh, press left shift and T here, as you can see, we have this really, really cool uh, thing over here. So we have loads of barriers and we even have paths for the vehicle. So we'll start off by creating a new path. So if we press create new path here then we'll go all the way down here, we'll set the speed to um, 30 miles per hour, I think that should be good. And um, drive directly to waypoint. So, so if we place the first one like over here, like that, and then we add a second one here, then a third one here, then if we kind of extend it out this way a little bit, over there, then we can start to merge it back into the lanes again. So there's kind of a little like a little path here now. So obviously, as you can see, the vehicles that will come will start to slightly turn to the left and avoid my vehicle, which obviously is quite realistic. You, they don't normally do that, so it's just a nice little um, addition, I guess, where they where they will kind of avoid my vehicle. So obviously we have cones first, so we'll just use the normal cones first to kind of set it off. So. If we uh, place them along here, just like this, we don't want to send them too far out um, because obviously I know that drivers won't always go too far out, but we kind of need it to be a little bit safe. So we'll place some here, just about miss them there. Place some more down here, place one there, one there, and then we can send this one into the hot shoulder there. But what we also have is like these little barricade things here. So we can kind of do something with this. I guess we can block it off some more with that. We'll just secure the area first. But we also have these work lights here, so um, we have low, like these wheeled work lights, I mean that's pretty cool. If we rotate it a little bit so it's kind of facing this way, that should be good. And then if we place that uh, there, can we do that? Can we place that there? Yeah, there, okay. Spawn, so yeah, that's actually really cool. And then obviously we can do the same with this one, so if we spin it around and we face it this way and we place it there that's really cool so we have some like lights up now i don't know if we can i don't know if we can actually um like turn them on or not or maybe they go on at night so let's just make it night and see if they automatically turn on so so yeah they actually do turn on at night time they don't actually reflect anything which is quite sad but they do turn on which is uh, pretty cool and obviously we have the vehicle here and on the back it says accident ahead it's going quite fast so what we can actually do is if we turn off these main lights here we can turn on these back ones and then turn on that and it goes a little bit slower so if we kind of park you know a bit like that 
where we like just kind of in the road there but not so yeah that's pretty good that should be safe enough there so there's not really too much we can do we'll go and see if we can uh, place some barriers there and see if we can actually like block it off so if we go back into the menu here uh manage barriers oh we have some ground light panels as well these are really cool okay so we have these ones which is the same or we have these work ones or these so i think we'll just get these we'll rotate them around a little bit more and then we'll place them and then uh, that so we've got them here so if we place this one there and then we come here and place this one there there we go that looks pr i mean it's not the safest thing but it's safer than what it was there's a bit more there to kind of protect it hopefully this will get repaired soon uh, obviously in roleplay purposes but yeah um so we can start to clear away our things here now so manage barriers remove nearest barrier yeah that one and if we come over here and then we do this one and this one and we come down here and we can do that one obviously it gets a bit dangerous when we remove uh, all of these different uh, cones and stuff and people will kind of go the wrong way jesus that guy almost that guy almost just ran me over we'll clear this one this one we'll wait for this truck to pass first and we'll squeeze through here clear this one this one this one and this one there we go so it's all clear now we still have the uh the little barricades there so we'll uh turn off our little light here we still have the, in fact no, we'll keep them on just while we uh, pull out a little bit here, there we go. Okay, so yeah, that's all repaired, well not repaired, but that looks a bit safer now. Uh, hopefully it might pay off in the future, who knows, maybe it will help someone not crash or something. So yeah, we'll go back and drive around and see what else we can find I guess, and see what else we can do. Alright, so we've just got a call of a bicycle on the freeway, which is obviously what we've drawn, so it's all the way up here, so uh... It's going to be quite a long response, but we can uh, turn on our uh, a little light here and then we can obviously go and find a place to turn around and then we can head there. So uh, this car is decently fast to be honest, it's not too slow, I mean this person going to go or stop or stop right in front of me, okay then. So we have got quite a long way to so we have got quite a long way to go to be honest and I did notice there are like blue lights on the back instead. Um, but I'm assuming that's just because this is obviously meant to be a police car, but they have changed it um, to be a Highways England car, so um, it's not too bad to be honest, I don't really notice it and I don't think it's that big of an issue anyway. Um, but we're going fairly fast, we're going about 90 miles an hour over to this incident, obviously uh, we can use the sirens here, uh, but they definitely do not use sirens. Uh, for the highway agency so we're just going to be using our horn uh, when we need to to obviously get people to move out of the way so we can get there as quick as we can okay we're about two and a half miles away i think i'm just gonna a little bit of construction going on there that's pretty cool i'm just gonna uh, speed this up until we get there now seems like they are moving because we're struggling to catch them up here so they are going fairly fast to be honest i'm going just about 90 miles per hour as you can see in the top right um obviously you can see that changing throughout the entire video it's always been there um so yeah they must be going pretty fast especially for a bike as well like that's that's quite crazy okay we are just approaching them now they are just in front i can now see them on my mini map they're about 0.2 miles away so we are really really close now um, they are going very fast. It looks like they've turned off just here. Uh, so obviously we can turn off here as well. Uh, I see them down there, yeah. Uh, they're going very fast. We might have to call the police to get involved in this one. Uh, I think it is breaking the law, to be honest. So I think police should kind of be coming anyway. So, uh, oh, uh, the bicycle was stolen. He's now running. Okay, um, that's not really our job. So uh, we'll call some uh, units in and they can uh, go and get him I guess so his bike's in the road here so they're gonna go and get him the other officers we'll just pull up here 
and uh, they can police there can go and get them. We'll just pull up here and uh, get this bike out of the way. I'm not sure why I have a chainsaw. Okay, uh, let's just hop on this. Drive to the side of the road for police to uh, seize. It looks like they're chasing him right now. That's not really our job to get involved in that, so we're gonna stay out of that. But I'd say that was pretty successful. Um, they're no longer on the freeway, so that counts as a win for me. So we have a, uh, a broken vehicle call now um, in the Sonora freeway, which is kind of where we are. So uh, we can respond to that, I guess. Let's just check. So uh, yeah, it's over there. That's not really on the freeway but i guess we can respond to that uh so we'll turn on our uh, lights there and we'll start to go there so it's not really on the freeway but it kind of is so uh we can uh, respond there we'll just pull in behind this truck where we make this turn here we won't overtake him there's no point it's a bit too dangerous as well so we need to turn around here and then we can obviously get going there so hopefully these guys are gonna stop yes they are thank you okay let's go so two point so about 2.1 2.2 miles away um and obviously i'm not sure what it was again i don't even remember i think it was some kind of broken vehicle or vehicle crash or something so it looks like it's to the left on our mini map there um i'm not sure how serious this is so we'll get there pretty quickly uh, obviously we will probably have to call the police and maybe an ambulance possibly fire service as well i have actually just remembered that i still haven't changed the fire trucks from uh when i did the airport fire truck <laughs> video about a week ago now so uh if we do have to call the fire department then it will be an airport fire truck a heathrow airport fire truck that responds but we might not have to call them yet so it should be fine just drive through here i guess this is kind of classed as a highway it's more of like a dual carriageway or more of just a normal road to be honest but uh, we can go that was a bit close a bit unrealistic there but obviously as i always say these videos aren't meant to be too realistic i do them because i enjoy them and you guys enjoy them obviously a bit of realism is nice but i don't like solely aim to be really really realistic um i just aim to have a bit of fun really so it's left up here i guess it's a good job we've got a range rover or a land rover for this i keep getting the two mixed up because this road looks pretty uh, pretty off-roady, so uh, I'm not sure quite where we're going. I'm going about 40 up here, so not too dangerous. And we'll just go up here, see what we can find. So it's left down here. Uh, this isn't really the job I think we are meant to respond to. But uh, for what we have in LSPDFI, I think it uh, should be fine. So I've never been in here. I don't know where I'm going. Is it left down here? What are we going to? Is it left here? Huh? Oh, I see it just over there. Okay, I think we can just drive through. In fact, no, we can't. Okay, we'll leave our vehicle here. It doesn't seem like a uh, cause we should be responding to. I don't know why I have my chainsaw out again. But let's just jump over this fence, see if we can help this guy here. Oh, there's some bad language there. I do apologise, but obviously it's GTA. You do have to expect some bad language, so uh, is everything alright? This car died on me for the third time now, and I can't fix that thing. Did you call a mechanic? No, I left my phone at home. Alright, I'll call a mechanic. Okay, so uh, we just called a tow truck. Oh yeah, we just called a tow truck. Okay, I'm not sure uh, where the tow truck is. Oh, it's there. Uh, it's a shame it's not the AA one. Would be nice if it was the large flatbed, because then obviously it's an AA one. More realistic. Would be good if we could call it ourselves, but um, I think this call is uh, pretty much for them now, so we'll just uh, finish this here, I guess. But if you did enjoy this video, then please do like and subscribe, as it does help out a lot. Make sure you join my Discord server over at discord.gg slash may share this video with your friends make sure you follow me on twitter and do everything else linked in the description below uh but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye